What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Redneck Day Trader. Today we're going to be looking at CYRN Siren. This is a stock that I am excited about. We're looking at the daily chart here and if you can see this uh, this nasty, nasty looking uh, chart here. Wasn't too long ago we were up over $13 a share. Uh, just Middle at the end of March, we were sitting up here at ten dollars. Today, we sit around two dollars and seventy-two cents, uh, somewhere around there. But as you can see on the daily chart, we got real close to this support at around two dollars, a dollar ninety-eight, which was the bottom uh, over here on February the twenty-fourth. And as you can see, we've had a massive sell-off from seven dollars and thirty-two cents back at the very end of March, on March 30th. And we came all the way back down to this $2.74 uh, cent area. So I'm excited about this stop. One, because it has all this massive uh, upside potential. I mean, you can see uh, we were sitting about this same area not long ago in February. And this thing went from, you know, $2.50, boom, all the way to 13 in about two weeks. That is a lot of money, folks, and that's what this redneck uh, day trader is looking for. Lots of money to make on the upside, not lose it, but on the upside. So this is kind of, I've, I've had my eyes on this one. Uh, I actually, uh, to be transparent, I did sell toward the close, uh, only just to try to buy it back a little bit cheaper tomorrow. And I don't know if that'll happen. I may be messing up here, but. If you look at the 15 minute uh, chart, the reason I've done this, and this is part of my day trading, this, you know, sometimes this gets me in trouble. Uh, sometimes it don't. But if you see, I actually missed it when we got up here to two, uh, 287 earlier in the day, about a mm, little hour and a half before the bell closed. But we got a MACD cross on the 15 minute chart. Uh, the blue is below the orange. So usually you get a little. At the very least, some sideways action uh, back down to the VWAP here. Let me pull my arrow up where I can. So at the very least, you'll get some sideways action uh, down to this VWAP and this uh, 20 MA moving average. And you could, at the open, get some down pressure, maybe back down to 260 or something like that. I'm not expecting anything extreme, but if I could... Uh, get back in, in in the low 260s or in the 250s and uh, get back in, I will do so. But, and that's the only reason uh, that I did sell this stock at the end today was because of this. And I think we may have some opening weakness on this stock. But then again, who am I? I'm just a redneck trader. Nobody knows what this thing's going to do or any stock's going to do at any given point. So, that's the risk I took just to try to save, you know, a few hundred dollars to get back in and hopefully ride it back up. But I could miss a big party tomorrow. So let's go back to the one day chart. This is the chart you need to pay attention to, especially if you're more of a swing trader. So I'm going to tell you what I like about this chart. One, your volume versus the last two or three weeks was much better today. And it was on an up day. So like I said, we got 13% uh, percent up move today. You also have your daily MACD. Looks like it has bottomed out. And that see that blue line down there is starting to curl up just a hair? That is a good sign. You got your Instagram right here. Uh, it's not the dark red anymore. It's this lighter pink right through here, and it is actually coming back up. So I really, really, really like what I'm seeing on this chart as far as this stock bottoming out. And I'm thinking that we're fixing to have a run to this 20-day moving average. You know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm a big believer in this 20-day moving average. So in that sense, right about at this resistance at $4.64. So tomorrow, I mean, that thing may be down to $4.40. Who knows? It's it, it's trending down. 
So if you can get a big up day tomorrow and maybe Wednesday, maybe you meet this uh, 20-day moving average up at $4. And from $274 to $4, folks, that's a pretty good gain. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, once we get to that 20-day moving average, then we will reevaluate. Hopefully we have strong volume. Hopefully this volume right here uh, keeps uh, increasing day after day. Hopefully later this week we get a MACD cross on the daily and then we are in business. And the first obstacle looks like it's going to be this 20-day moving average for us on the upside and this resistance. But if we can come up here, we have the cross on the MACD. We'll get more volume coming in. Maybe, I'm not saying this week or maybe even next week, maybe we can get a uh, a push through this 20-day moving average and start trying to go up here and hit this uh, $5.93 resistance or around $6. Uh, I really see a lot of upside in this stock. I mean, like I said, it doesn't take much. You know, you have a uh, cyber attack. You know, you still got the war going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine. Um, you have some kind of big cyber attack anywhere in the world. That's going to push these stocks up. They're really news driven. So now I think that's what happened right here on this big run up from uh, two dollars and fifty cents all the way to thirteen. I mean, guys, that's a what is that a five or six x in a matter of two weeks? I mean, that's what you're playing with here. I mean, this is a to me is a ticking time bomb. If you are short this stock. Ooh, you better say your prayers at night, sons. All I'm saying, this redneck would not want to be short in this stock. I just feel that it is a ticking time bomb just waiting uh, to go up. I mean, as you see right here, I mean, you can clearly see in the chart, we are definitely losing momentum on the downside. I mean, your volume just almost dried up as you were going down. And then you got this blue day today with an increase in volume. So you've got a lot of things going against you if you're short. Now, if you're long, I mean, you get above this wick right here on this candle right here, that is at 295. If you can break 295, you may get on a good run tomorrow. And I'm hoping that's what happened. I actually hope for my sake, and I'm just this is just my point of view. Like I said, I've always said I'm just a redneck trader, I'm not a professional trader. But my opinion, my point of view, what I want to see happen on the greedy side for me is I want us to open down a little bit. Let that 15-minute chart cool off that I showed you earlier. Let that cool off for a couple hours. Maybe get this thing around 250, 260 range, maybe even lower. Then the volume comes in and the momentum comes back in and then we start pushing up toward this 464. Now, this stock's one of those stocks. I mean, just look at this day right here. You went... Uh, from a low of 198 in one day, this is just one day, uh, to six dollars and 67 cents just in one day. That is over a 3x in one day. So, this stock can do that if it gets the volume, gets some news behind it. This stock can, can double on you in one day. So, like I said, I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do, I'm just simply showing you the charts, uh, showing you the stocks that I'm looking at that's got my attention. Uh, where I'm putting some of my money, not trying to pump the stock with my following. I mean, I love you. I've got, I think, 1,400 followers now. Thank you very much. But I don't think 1,400 of us are going to move the needle on this stock. So, not trying to pump the stock. Anyway, uh, leave some comments below on what you think. Are you in this stock? Are you looking to buy this stock? Or are you short this stock? I, I would love to see some comments. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, please do so. And until the next CYRN video, I will see you then and happy trading and let's make some money.